whenever we have to prove that question, we have to prove it using algebra. We can't show it by uh, substituting numbers in to show that any number we put in gives out a multiple of five. We need to show it, so we need to simplify the algebra so we end up with five times something. So in this example, we just have to simplify it. So we have to expand these brackets. So whenever we've got squared, that means times itself. So we've got 5n plus 1 times 5n plus 1. Take away 5n minus 1 times 5n minus 1. Now, we have to be quite careful about this minus sign in the middle. It means this take away all of this. So I'm going to put a second set of brackets around them, just so we know we're going to keep them, expand them first, and then we'll do the takeaway after. So let's expand them first. So 5n times 5n, 25n squared. Then we've got plus 5n, plus 5n, plus 1. So that's the first one. And the second one, we've got 25n squared, minus 5n, minus 5n, plus 1. We can simplify them both a little bit. So 25n squared plus 10n, plus 1, minus 25n squared, minus 10n, plus 1. Now, we need to do this, take away all of this. So it's 25n squared minus 25n squared. Well, that's nothing. 10n minus minus 10n. Minus minus means plus, so 10n minus minus 10n is 20n. And 1 minus 1 is nothing. So this simplifies to just 20n. We need to prove it's a multiple of 5. Well, what we can do is we can say it's 5 times 4n. So we've proved it by showing it's 5 times something. So therefore, it is a multiple of 5 for all positive inches. So we've proven it, proven. Um, here's another example of the same sort of thing. It says prove that n plus 2 squared minus n minus 2 squared is even for all positive integer values of n. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to expand the two brackets first. Okay, so we've got n squared plus 2n plus 2n plus 4. And we've got n squared minus 2n minus 2n plus 4. So that's n squared plus 4n plus 4. Take away n squared minus 4n plus 4. Then we take them away. So n squared take away n squared is nothing. 4n take away minus 4n minus minus it makes plus so 8n and 4 minus 4 is nothing. So it's 8n. Um, we could say, well, the 8 times table is all even, but we could, we could also go 2 times 4n. So, because it's 2 times something, the 2 times table is even. So anything times 2 is an even number, therefore, we've proven it. Prove that the sum of any two consecutive odd numbers is always even. So, an odd number, so when we do an even number, any even number we can write as 2n. 2n is, is the 2 times table, and it's any even number. All even numbers are the 2 times table. And when we do an odd number, we can just add 1 to it. So this is an odd number. 2n by itself is an even number. 1 more than an even number is an odd number. And 2 consecutive odd numbers. So that's 1 odd number. The one after it, odd numbers go up in two. You have three, then five, then seven. It's two more every time. So if that's our first odd number. The second one is two more than that. 
two more than this, 2m plus 1 plus 2 is 2m plus 3. And then we just have to add them up. So 2m plus 2n is 4n. 1 plus 3 is 4. And that's 4m plus 4, which is the same as 2 times 2m plus 2. So because we've times it by 2, it's even. OK, and one more of these. So prove that the sum of the squares of two consecutive numbers is always odd. So two consecutive numbers, so any two numbers this time. So the first one is just n, and the next one, m plus 1. So this is a number, and this is one more than it, so they're consecutive. And it's the sum of the squares, so it's this squared plus this squared. And then prove that it's an odd number, so we just have to simplify it now. So we've got n squared plus m plus 1 times m plus 1. So n squared plus n squared plus n plus n plus 1. 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. So how do we know that it's an odd number? Well, this bit here is 2 times n squared plus n. So this is, this bit here is an even number, and then even plus 1 is odd. So this is even, if you add 1 to an even number, you get an odd number. So there we go, that's proven that as well.